guys welcome back to the civil engineering youtube channel please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos today our topic is about the inclined loads and the beam so here is a simply supported beam with the hinge support at the left side and the roller support at the right side of the beam this uniformly distributed load acting uh, at a uh, length of 4 meter at the right at the right side of the beam while the inclined loads acting at an angle of 45 degree uh, on the left side with a magnitude of 5 kN. So to find the support reaction of, of this type of the beam, first of all we have to solve uh, this inclined load. There are two portion of this load, one is called the vertical, you can see here, and one will be the horizontal side of this road, of this load. So this, this portion will be like uh, f cos theta, so it will be like 5 because 5 kN load is acting so I can write here 5 is the load and 5 cos of 45 degree while this vertical load will be like 5 sin 45 degree it is the vertical components of the road and this is the horizontal component of the road so first of all if you are given the inclined load on the beam you have to resolve your load into two components one is the horizontal one is the vertical and this way and this is the F component make a, a, an angle so you have to resolve into horizontal and you have to resolve into vertical so this horizontal is known as the f cos theta and this vertical is known as the f sin theta so i resolve my force into two components so after calculating i got got my result is 3.53 kN horizontal and also I got my vertical is 3.53 kN is the vertical component because it makes an angle of 45 degree so it uh, the vertical and horizontal uh, forces components are same now my interest is to find the RA vertical and RB horizontal the first portion was to resolve my force into two components now let's suppose taking the summation of the moment at A is equal to 0 so by this I can find my RB how Summation of moment at A is equal to 0. Now finding the moment arm. So uh, this load vertical acting F sin 5 45 degree. 5 sin of 45 degree. Which I can also write 3.53 which I calculated. 3.53 into moment arm for this vertical load is 2 meter into 2. And I consider this clockwise direction is positive. So this load will act positive in positive direction with the moment arm of 2 meter. Similarly, this uniformly distributed load is also in positive direction. So the concentrated load of this uniformly distributed will be 2 into 4 and the moment arm will be from the center. This moment arm for the uniformly distributed load which comes out to be 5. 2 into 3, 5 into again 2. So we can write it here 7. Now the other one is RB which is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so I can write it RB and the moment arm I see here is 5 into 4 9 is equal to 0 summation of moment it is equal to 0 so I can calculate my RB comes out to be say 1 kN now I can calculate uh, my R as well so RB comes out to be 7 kN now the RB will be uh, summation of force is equal to 0 vertical so I can find out the RA, so I can write it, the vertical forces is uh, the load coming in the downward direction I consider is positive, while the load acting in the upward direction I consider is negative. So this force is acting downward, so it will be like 3.53. This is acting again downward, but is uniformly distributed, so I can convert into concentrated load by multiplying it with the distributed area distributed length so 2 into 4 and the RB is acting upward so RB and RA I consider it also in upward direction equal to 0 so by putting the RB value 7 here 3.53 into 8 into RB value is 7 RA is equal to 0 then RA comes out to be if I make it on the right side the values comes out to be 4.53 kN so my RA value in upper direction will be 4.53 kN. 
So these were the two support reactions provided in this beam. Now the one component of the road is the horizontal uh, of the load is horizontal. You can see here 5 cos 45 degree, which is 3.53 kN. So the resistance will be provided uh, by the hinge support only, right? Because this is the rural support, it does not it does not provide the horizontal resistance. The horizontal resistance is zero in this case. So the resistance to the horizontal force will be provided by the hinge support and it will be in the same magnitude as the load. 3.53 kN. So the load coming on this end is 3.53 kN. The resistance will be also 3.53 kN. And the vertical uh, we can calculate from the moment, summation of moment and summation of Fy. So now the total forces are in equilibrium. You should, you should must be remember that your uh, the external forces should be equal to your uh, the resistance forces. 